Good morning, good morning, guys. It's your favorite rambling redhead. How are you? It's uh, it's been a minute since we've talked. It's been about a month now, cause um, my job. So, I work for a large church that does a uh, very, very large walkthrough Christmas light display. So in December, I ended up working. I don't know between Thanksgiving and Christmas, I worked basically seven 40-hour weeks. Um, but it's all calmed back down now. We got the Christmas lights taken down and put away. So I'm back at this again. I got some free time. Got a lot to do today. I'm out here just checking on the birds. And apparently they made a mess of their uh, swimming pool yesterday. Had to knock some ice off of it this morning. We'll get that water changed out today. But yeah, got their coop out here. And it's beautiful. It's like 40 right now. We just got home from Krispy Kreme. And uh, I mean, that place is great. Some fresh hot donuts and iced coffee and yeah. So, I don't have any snacks for you, but uh, yeah, just kind of recovered from Christmas a little bit and I got a lot to do today. I ordered a bunch of parts from Rock Auto for a uh, Ford Explorer that I got over Christmas. My duck just fell out of the pond because he's fat. Um, that I got a, bloop. Um, Got to work on today, install some cats. So the uh, Stroke Heinz Explorer was, belonged to my brother-in-law, got stolen, had the cats stolen off of it, left on the side of the road. Well, they broke a bunch of parts into the shift selector, and ignition's kind of wonky, and the um, it, cats got cut off. So I ordered a bunch of stuff from Rock Auto, and we get swapped on there today, hopefully put some tires on it, and that'll be my new car to drive, because the teenager will be getting my little Honda uh, the next couple months or so when he gets his license. So I got that going on today. The wife's going to work in the front yard. I got my... Uh, I'm going to get, probably get the 3D printer out and print a couple more things. I uh, got an Ender 3 3D printer Christmas holiday as well. Oh, let me go ahead. Look terrible. Turn this one. There we go. But uh, right now, I'm going to go eat some delicious donuts. And uh, yeah, I think we're going to get started on that busy day ahead of us. I don't know. We'll see how much that I film. It's not really, don't really intend for this to be an automotive repair channel because I don't enjoy automotive repair anymore. So, uh, yeah. I'll go eat and then we will uh, see what kind of trouble I can get into today. I think we got to do some running around as well. Get back with you in a minute. My favorite things is having car parts in our living room. I uh, used to do a lot of stuff with Hondas and I uh, had a car that I was racing for a while and just I, I enjoy Hondas so I would buy parts regularly in cheap cars and whatnot. That's the reason I have the Civic I have now but um, yeah they would always end up in her living room and she would always absolutely hate it and yet once again here we are. We got both Cali converters, a tow hitch, plug wires, air filter, spark plugs, some new tires to go in the Explorer. So, well, no, you can't go outside. No, sir. She's out here trimming up the bush. And this is the Explorer. And my Civic. This is, so I don't know if I ever talked about it. This is my little $500 Civic I bought. Had transmission issues the day I bought it. Has transmission issues today, but it gets back and forth to work every day. <clears throat> I've uh, had it for two years, put 16,000 miles or something obnoxious on it without having fourth gear and for a while I didn't have reverse this the Explorer the uh, it's been around a while my wife uh, hit a pole with that corner of it like 10 years ago when it was her grandfather's he gave it to the brother-in-law like three years ago and now it's mine so she's not pretty but she was free I'll clean it up and it'll be a nice little runner for me Getting back and forth to work and another car for the teenager to drive. So, I don't know if I on the front of the house, but we painted it last summer. Finished painting it anyway. It looks great. My uh, little old man here, he would like to come out into the front yard, but my neighbors are having a garage sale and he doesn't do well with people he doesn't know. So, he has to stay in the house today. But I'm going to get all these parts dragged out there. And climb underneath this here. Uh, Explore and see if I can't get myself a new daily driver today. Alright, so here's what we got going on down here. There should be catalytic converters right there. If they're not cut off, 
Hopefully it bolts come out real easily. And then the, uh, I've already replaced the shift cable, but that's that guy right there. It's busted off the uh, plastic assembly here. Ugh, right there. That all got busted up when it got stolen. Had to be replaced so that I could actually put it in out of gear. And uh, you may notice I got a little bit of an oil leak in that track down down here too. There, here we go. All right, the weather is beautiful now. Look at this. This dead bush crepe myrtle thing. My wife, and teenager, got that out. I'm gonna go work on all the ones up in that uh, in this flower bed. Yeah, I'll walk up there. We got this flower bed that we uh, mulched a bunch of stuff into when we first moved in. And uh, that ain't worked out. We gotta kill all this stuff out of here, but it's got a bunch of stumps in it. From, it was like a post oak and a bunch of crepe myrtles in there when we moved in. But we gotta get in there and uh, that dug out. Deacon's down here, pulling plastic off of these cats. You can see gap right there is what cats were supposed to be got cut off was uh going great everything came right apart no problems under there right up until this joint right here the end that slips into the rest of the exhaust system and then gets crimped down on with a clamp and uh that was in there pretty good and that took us better part of an hour to get out but it's out now we're gonna climb under there and put this thing all back together all right Oh, yeah, can't look at the sun. I am a mess. Just an absolute disaster here. But, the cats are in. It's running. Putting the um, trailer hitch on it right now. Because everything I know needs to have a trailer hitch. Let's walk over here. But, it's nice and quiet. It's idling here. The, uh, I did unfortunately find a couple more issues just now when I went to test drive it that I'm um, going to have to fix. But, she's idling. It smells terrible because it's burning stickers and stuff off of the uh, Cadillac converters. I'm gonna put this trailer hitch on there, wire up the trailer uh, lights, get the brake lights in it tonight because I have to replace those. And uh, yeah, I think they're inside right now making some uh, mozzarella sticks and some other stuff in the air fryer for lunch, late lunch, I guess. So yeah, we're, we're doing pretty good here. Moving right along, I'm excited. I just drove around the block and it drove pretty good, other than these tires are terrible. Uh, transmission seems to still be okay though, so that's good news. There, yeah, moving right along. All right, wow, I am a mess. Uh, we're here at the Amigos Tire Shop, and uh, you know, I order my tires online for my cars, the wives and the kids. I'll get from Discount Tire, or, you know, with the certs and all that stuff for something of my own that I can plug my own tire if I have a problem or whatever to deal with. Nah, so I'm online. Ken does 60 bucks a tire getting them put on for I think he's charging me like $15 a tire and he's moving the newest tire I had on here to the spare so no complaints there 60 bucks I'm less than $300 installed brand new tires all the way around I can't complain about that I think this will be the last thing I do on here today fortunately I lost my uh, trailer light adapter I think it got thrown out with um, everything else so that kind of stinks but uh you know it happens I guess Whatever, I'll keep looking. Maybe it's there somewhere and I just haven't found it yet. Yeah, he's done. I'll head back to the house. All right, well, I'm still a mess. But just started the grill. Going to clean up my hands, make dinner. Doing some pork chops tonight. Got the, uh, the fire going, burning off all that stuff that we pulled up today from the yard. We got two of the trees out of the yard. Or they got two of the trees. I didn't, which is exciting. So I got Kentucky over here. She follow me around. She, uh, they just started laying again, uh, which is exciting. So we had, I had changed their food right before Thanksgiving because I went tractor supply and the brand we were normally buying was out. So it's like, okay, no big deal. I'll just pick up this other brand. It's the same thing ish. Uh, yeah, they didn't like it. They haven't laid an egg since I changed their food. So. We uh, changed them back, oh, most a week ago now, I guess, to the old stuff, and they're back to laying again, which is great. It's exciting. Kind of sucked going a month with having them not laying. I was blaming it on the weather. I was blaming it on everything. Turns out it was just food. So, uh, still haven't changed their water yet since this morning, so Lucy's in there for a swim. But yeah, that's going to about do it for today. 
I will uh, pick this back up tomorrow, I think. And good afternoon, guys. So good news. I didn't end the uh, vlog yesterday. But I also didn't pick it up this morning. So it is, uh, it's about noon now. The, uh, my oldest stayed with his best friend last night at his house. And it was a quiet night here. So we didn't really do anything. I didn't really to record. But uh, this morning I did get out there and get the um, door ripped apart on that Explorer so I could actually get into it. And fortunately I'm going to have to replace the inside door handle, the outside door handle, and the latch assembly. So that kind of stinks. But I got my 3D printer in here working on some things this morning. Just creature comfort kind of things. I uh, printed my oldest uh, coaster last night. I, it, the 3D printer is kind of a funny thing for me. I bought it because I had this work project in mind. And I was like, oh, I'll buy it so I can test that out and see if it'll actually work. Um, and I haven't done it yet, but I will eventually, I suppose. Wow, my nose is red. Um, allergies are kicking my butt this year. But I... Um, it's very rare that I buy a tool that I don't already have a plan for. Like, oh, I'm buying this to do that. Nope, I just, I think 3D printer's cool, so I wanted one, so I bought one. Um, and I'm enjoying it. It's been an interesting process learning about it. But anyway, I spent this morning watching some of the new um, Discovery Plus with my wife. And she got her new um, carpet shampoo out, and she's kind of working on the interior on this Explorer, seeing what she can do with it. I, Kind of vacuumed out and pulled out all this stuff. It she wasn't very well taken care of and kind of dirty. So we're cleaning her up. But um, yeah. she's out here. I got it looking close to new. Outside's still a mess, but looking much nicer in there. See the wife over there shampooing away. I don't think it's going to be able to save the carpet, but I could be wrong. Uh, that'd be great instead of having to rip it out and dye the whole thing to uh, make it look reasonable again. But yeah, a little bit more to do on this today. I'm going to have to order all the parts, put the um, door back together. But I'm excited to have it. It's probably, realistically, when the stuff comes in for the door, I put that together and I can go to driving it every day. So that thing will go to the eldest and yeah, that'll be that. So I'm going to get back to work on this. And uh, just kind of making my way around it, cleaning everything out. And I'll get back with you guys in a little bit and figure out what we're going to do next. What are you doing, Popeye? Dang on birds. Still just in here printing away. Kind of done working on the uh, Explorer until I order some more parts. I do need to glue the bottom back onto the armrest here. But um, yeah, about done with that for the day. So I don't really know what we're going to do the rest of the day. Alright guys, so I didn't end up filming a ton today. Just, uh, we all worked on the car. Been watching some, uh, TV with the wife and hanging out. The print's finishing up. She's about to start dinner. And I've got my, uh, Kentucky here. Because for whatever reason, I came outside and she just trotted up to me and stood there and waited for me to pick her up. So, just kind of holding her. Oh, are you done now? 
Okay, bye bye. Anyway, she felt like being held, so I didn't figure I'd get a whole lot done today, but um, I done more than I thought I would, so I guess there's that. But uh, yeah, we're gonna call it quits here. I'm gonna sit down and edit this, so I'm gonna release this week. We'll do this again next week. My new work schedule gives me some more time off than I had before, so as long as uh, nothing crazy happens in the next week, we'll be here. We'll figure out what we're doing next weekend. We'll do it all again. But until then, I've been your uh, favorite rambling redhead, and I'll see you later. Bye.